put this out on the um, web this morning. So if uh, we just had this done recently by Agree from London, which sort of gives a bit of a snapshot and scale of the uh, Willing operation in WA. Uh, there is a longer seven minute video with some uh, commentary and, and whatnot that sort of adds to the to the story. If you're interested in, you can grab that. It's uh, it's out on the on the public platform. So. The, the main here that we're trying to show is that uh, Waluna, which is a very long known historical gold field, it's been around for 100 years. It's at the northern end of uh, the Norseman Kalgoorlie Waluna belt. And we, a small company, we've got 1,600 kilometres of ground with 6.3 million ounces under single ownership for the first time. The, the gold field is. Uh, has missed uh, a lot of the recent 20 years of exploration purely because the, um, while the ground was being consolidated and, and the restart operation was being funded, the company didn't have a very good, strong balance sheet. And if you look at the sort of, we already have four mine, mine camp scale geological systems here, they, they haven't received any, any significant drilling in the last 20 years or so. And uh, they're known, they've got significant scale, they've got, um, um, large footprints, but uh, so what we're doing at the moment is uh, just uh, positioning the company to uh, reset its position, demonstrate that its current operation is generating positive cash flow, and, um, and then from there we intend to uh, immediately go and within the next couple of months start building a concentrator which allows us to show a path to commercialization of the largest drill resources that we have, which are right under the head frame, uh, while we continue to sort of uh, try and drill and expand the, the, the regional and resource opportunities in the free milling operation. Uh, the, the team there is uh, partly past people, but quite renewed over the last six months, since May. Um, and uh, we, we, we have done a, I think pretty good job in the last six months, taking what was a distressed balance sheet to basically cleaning it up totally. We've had two good quarters of production. We're generating, we're producing gold at about 1,500 Aussie all in at the moment. Uh, we're unhedged, uh, and so with our margins are, are quite, quite good. And the next couple of quarters is all about trying to maintain that 70 to 80,000 ounce production rate while we demonstrate that we can increase the length on, on our cash flow profile by spending limited capital to get to the next stage of development at the mine. Uh, as I was saying, we're, we're positioned in, in, uh, in the northern end of the most prolific gold belt in Australia. Uh, if you take the footprint that we have on that polygon there and put that down around Kalgoorlie, there'd be probably 30 companies already drilling deposits in that ground. Uh, because it's been missed in recent times, that's the opportunity that we have, uh, that we can now hopefully uh, bring out to the market in a clean fashion after having a, a stop and start over the last couple of years. The, um, the endowment at, at Waluna itself is already 11 million ounces and in the, in the Agnew Waluna gold belt it's 32 million ounces uh, and it will get bigger as I'll show you. So the current operations, there's a lot of plant and equipment there. When you look at that process plant, we're only operating the free milling circuit, which is a small part of all that gear that you're seeing there. There's actually a BIOS plant there, there's a concentrator. Uh, that is on all the care and maintenance. We're not using that at the moment. And it's probably unlikely that we'll be using that again uh, going forward. But it is an option, but unlikely to be used. So half year results, I'm very pleased what the team managed to do. having having been in a quite, a quite a difficult situation in May last year and we've gone from negative $8 million cash flow in the, pre, in the May quarter to we generated about $40 million of cash flow in the last six months. Half of that was from asset sales. Operationally we also did contribute to quite a significant amount as well. Um, the infrastructure I said, is substantial and the incumbency, we have all the approvals in place. We have uh, obviously our own gas uh, lateral for the gas power station, we have uh, water licenses, we have mining licenses, we have uh, substantial underground development uh, going into hundreds of kilometres and five declines into this major ore body that we'll be tackling in the near future. Uh, the drilling alone, uh, today's replacement cost is about $250 million uh, in, in, this, in this ore body. And a lot of it is, this, this recent drilling in the last five years, most of this hasn't been mined. It, it, it was 
it got to sort of indicated inferred status, the actual mine planning and the conversion to, to, to a mine hasn't happened at this stage. That's a snapshot of the Waluna. That's one long section. It's a bit deceiving because the ore body is actually two three and a half kilometer long structures in parallel. So if you put those apart, they're about seven and a half kilometers long. Uh, if you put that overprint and scale of this over Jundi or Wali or, or any other great known geological systems in WA, you'll find that this is probably going to be bigger, and it already is, I'd say, from a geological perspective. And our, our job is to now bring that out properly, put the money into it. That southern end where you see the, the shallower part uh, was mined in the 30s, one half million ounces mined. Uh, it, it's undrilled below 500 metres, and it offers the immediate opportunity to really scale up. All of those pink areas are actually drilled holes with significant grades with no, having in mind uh, in recent times. So we'll be getting down there and uh, starting that soon. That's the sort of growth opportunity in the short term. We, we'll, we'll be down here drilling. In fact, we're drilling one part of this already. Uh, and we'll be, we'll be down on off about three or four platforms drilling these boxes. Really, the blue areas are inferred, so we can't put them into the mine plan that we published in December. This will bring about 800,000 ounces of new reserves into this mine in the next 12 to 18 months, uh, which will mean that we can, uh, we can the, the capital we're spending to, to, to start producing a concentrate will have a much larger reserve once we've finished the actual capital expenditure on the, on the circuit. Historical, I, I won't dwell on that. Uh, so we've had two conservative quarters of good production. Our net debt is down to $1 million now. Uh, from 12 million a year ago. Our payables are back on track. We're, we're paying everybody on much better terms than Rio Tinto at the moment. And uh, our, our preliminary underground plans and our financing for, for the concentrator is going very well. I'll cover that in a second. Uh, that's just a snapshot of the financials for the half year. If you're interested, you can probably go and have a look at that later on. Um, this is sort of where we're going. We, the yellow is where we are, and we're trying to demonstrate now that's generating decent cash flow and it's stable, and we can keep going with that in the short term. That's not the Waluna story. That, the, the Waluna story is the pathway to get to 250,000 ounces of production because of the scale of the resource base and the potential, and the infrastructure that's already installed there. And that's, that's where we are going. The first stage is going to be complete by March next year. And the second stage, there'll be 18 month study, feasibility, reserve drill out, and we expect to be financing that in, uh, in the second half of uh, 21, essentially. Um, so I'll leave that aside. That's what we need. We need a net $53 million to finish the work to, to, for this first stage of expansion. Uh, we expect that uh, if we get ourselves to where we belong in terms of the scale of the geology, then we'll be in the top 15 single location gold producers in Australia, and they're pretty rare uh, in a single location. Um, people sometimes talk about Waluna, and everybody's got a view on Waluna, Adrian and others. Um, Waluna is a, predominantly as it's known today, the current geology, is, is a refractory orbity. 30% uh, of the world's production is refractory, and some of the biggest orbities in the world are refractory, including the big pit in Kalgoorlie, the Carlin trend with, uh, with Newmont, and, and essentially uh, the, the processing solutions, you can do it on site. The beauty about what we're doing at the moment is gold concentrates are in demand and they're actually, the payables are, are fantastic and you can sell them in the market for 80% payable and you don't have to process them on site. So it's no different to producing a copper concentrate and that's what we're going to be doing right now and probably in the future as well until you, there is economic justification to put capital in to convert that gold on site. There's just no need. Uh, we, we can even, without an optimised mine plan, we can produce gold at $1,500 all in an ounce. Clearly, once we scale that operation up, Optimise the mine plan, we'll be aiming to be a lot less than that uh, without spending the capital in that number for the gold converter on site. Um, so while we, we are seen as a small gold producer, uh, we'd like to be seen more as a growth company that's going to uh, show the sleeping giant that's been in slumber for the last couple of years while it's been trying to get awakening in the next couple of years. And uh, we're pretty confident. The team's quite excited. Uh, the, the fact that we achieved uh, quite a quick turnaround from where we got to is, is pleasing. The market probably hasn't quite reacted to that turnaround yet, but we'll, that'll come in due course once we... Uh, we, we will... Um, 
we will finance the, this next stage, just I probably missed that in one of the slides. We have got an indicative term sheet which we hope to get to credit in the next couple of weeks for $40 million uh, with a gold prepay which will be part of that total funding we need to get to the, to the next stage. And that will be in place within weeks uh, as we speak. So, um, Thank you very much. And I've finished on time. And uh, I can take a question if anybody's got one.